Divers Uncover 70-Year-Old Mystery in the Dark Depths of the Pacific Ocean. Underwater photographers get to take amazing photos that people would have no other way of seeing. Even though they have managed to reveal most of the flora and fauna that the world has to offer, there is still a big part of the ocean that remains unexplored. An underground photographer revealed photos that bring back memories of events that people do not remember anymore. Keep reading to find out more about the discoveries. The Marshall Islands are 29 islands in the Pacific Ocean. The islands have beautiful water and marine life. They sit on a mystery that many people do not know about. Divers have explored the waters to uncover the mystery of planes sunk underwater. Brandy Mueller, a boat captain and diver, was famous for her brave spirit and amazing underwater photography. She was one of the few divers that were brave enough to explore the Pacific Ocean. Her position as a boat captain gave her many chances to visit and explore the sea. Brandy's adventurous spirit led her to be one of the few divers that dared to explore the waters and discover plenty of planes that had been submerged underwater for decades. Brandy developed an interest in nature when she was young. She used her parents' camera to take photos of plants and animals. As she grew older, she developed an interest in diving. Brandy thought it was wise to use both her passions. She learned how to dive when she was 15. The surprising thing about these planes was the fact that they did not appear to have been carrying anyone. There were no signs of skeletons or any evidence of humanity. The aircraft seemed to be intact. They were rusted because they had been underwater for a long time. Brandy was keen on finding as much evidence as possible. She consistently went back to the site and took as many photographs as she could. It is possible that other divers and photographers may have visited the site before her. It is, however, not possible to determine how many they were. The location is remote and it takes some effort to access. That means that the number of visitors is probably low. Brandy managed to take photographs of more than 100 sunken planes. They should have flown more, lived longer, but they were sunk in perfect condition, she explained. It seemed odd that the planes seemed to have been in perfect condition. The planes were in excellent condition. They were rusted, which is expected for a plane that has been underwater for decades, and they were covered with sea plants. That aside, the plane did not seem to have been damaged. It was not possible to determine their insignia because of the rust damage. Brandy is one of the leading underwater photographers of her generation. She has a passion for diving, underwater photography, and observing marine life. Brandy is a licensed captain, that is why she went on the excursion in the Marshall Islands. The planes under the waters of the Marshall Islands were found to be old planes used in wars. As was customary at the time, they were sunk in the sea after the war. This means that any divers or photographers who go diving to look for them puts their lives at risk as there may be explosives down there. This, however, has not stopped them. After a careful study of the Marshall Islands, Divers realized something unusual on the seafloor. They realized that it had metal and glass debris. There were big chunks of metallic parts. Even though they were rusted and mostly covered with seaweeds, they raised questions. Skilled divers went to the bottom of the sea to get a closer look. The planes are said to have been dumped in the sea after the end of World War II. Americans dumped remnants from the war into the sea. The planes did not crush in the sea. That explains why there was no evidence of human beings in them. Photographers from around the world visit this plane graveyard to take pictures of the old war planes surrounded by water and flora. Brandy explained that while taking photographs of the planes underwater was a fulfilling and exciting experience, it was strenuous. It was one of her most demanding projects. The aircraft are so deep underwater, divers can only stay below the water surface for certain periods. She explains that seeing planes in the sea and not in the sky is a strange yet special experience. The underwater planes are a sad memorial of the war that claimed millions of lives. 
The fact that the planes are remnants of the war makes them special. It leaves many wondering about the events that would make aircraft worth millions of dollars to be abandoned in the sea. There were at least 150 million planes. After a win against the Empire of Japan, the planes were abandoned in the water on purpose. They belonged to several Allied aircraft carriers. The military disposed of them in the sea because they already had too many planes. They could not afford the cost of maintaining and storing so many planes. The planes from World War II had been at the bottom of the sea for more than seven decades. Some of them included the Douglas SBD Dauntless, Dive Bomber, the TBM Avenger, and the F4U Corsair. After the war, planes were not all that was dumped into the sea. The military also dumped their clothing, coke bottles, jeeps, bulldozers, forklifts, and tractors into the sea. These items were dumped on the island paradise of Vanuatu. The Japanese launched a surprise attack on the American forces in 1941. Six months later, the U.S. forces retaliated. They had not given up on their quest of finding allies to help them in the war. The U.S. and their allies won the Battle of Midway. The position of the Marshall Islands made them strategic for war during World War II. The Sixth Fleet Administrative Center lived in Kwajalein Atoll. The U.S. forces attacked and took over the islands in 1944 which was a massive blow to the Japanese. 